distant lands our forefathers came some seeking adventure some bound in chains through battles waged and fought through victory and pain by test of their courage our freedom was gained in homage to those gone before us us, the heroes of lands in the sun we vow to join hands and to focus on building one caribbean raise your voices high sing of your caribbean pride sing it loud and strong feel our hearts beat as one celebrate Fellow UE Pelicans, a warm welcome to the fourth annual Global UE Alumni Day. Today, we come together to celebrate the University of the West Indies' most prized assets, our graduates. Your achievements, dedication, and contributions are the pillars upon which the UE's sterling reputation stands. Without you, we would not hold the distinguished title of being number one in the Caribbean. It fills my heart with immense pride to know that my suggestion to officially recognize this special day was embraced by the UWI. It's a day dedicated to honoring you, our alumni, who continue to make remarkable strides across various fields and who bring honor to our alma mater. So today, we celebrate each of you, 
you are all just as special as the three graduates you see to the top left of your screen. Judge Margaret Ramsey Hale, the first female Chief Justice of the Cayman Islands. Mr. Randy McLaren, co-founder and CEO of Breche Enterprises, who is also a performance poet and social and creative activist. And Jean McDonald, who won the British Association of Urologists gold medal and was the first black female urologist in the UK. Together, we are one UWE, one alumni family. We celebrate not only our individual successes, but also our collective spirit and unity that make the UWI community so exceptional. So immerse yourselves in the inspiring messages and stories from our alumni around the globe. Revel in the shared experiences, cherish the memories, and look forward to a future filled with continued success and collaboration. Thank you for joining us and enjoy this special moment of celebration and connection. My very best wishes to you all on Global UWI Alumni Day 2024. It is an absolute pleasure to recognize and emphasize the invaluable contributions and impact of graduates of the University of the West Indies, who play vital roles in our communities and professions. You are the UWI's most visible and greatest achievement, serving across all professions at the national, regional, and global levels. It has been a pleasure and honor to serve as the head of such an illustrious body for the last seven years. I commend Celia Davison Francis, Director of Alumni Relations, for her vision and commitment in establishing this significant day in the UWI calendar, a day devoted to honoring and celebrating our remarkable graduates. Together with a dedicated team of campus alumni officers, she continues to make a positive impact on the alumni population. My sincere thanks to them all. During the past seven years, I have met many UWI alumni who were deeply appreciative of the foundation they received as undergraduates and graduate students. I have also engaged with alumni who were not as happy with their student experiences. And I point this out to say that it is important that the system in place be continuously improved and reviewed. You have an important role to play in ensuring that your alma mater continues to thrive in a constantly evolving and sometimes unpredictable environment. There are many ways in which you can contribute as adjunct lecturers, technical advisors, and members of campus and university committees, as mentors to students, benefactors to scholarship programs, or providers to internships for students. Your university deeply appreciates your ongoing involvement in nurturing individuals who will steer our Caribbean nations and the region towards a bright and prosperous future for, Venice, for generations to come. I will demit office as Chancellor of the University of the West Indies on July the 31st, 2024. It has been wonderful interacting with you across the years, and I thank you all for the generosity and spirit which was showed towards me. Continue to be proud Pelicans and keep the UWI first in your hearts and first in the region. I salute all of you 
and wish you the very best in the future. Thank you. It is for me, as your Vice Chancellor, a tremendous honor to celebrate you on this UWI Global Alumni Day. The principal criterion which is used in the definition of what is a fine university is one that has an intimate, mutually celebratory relationship between the institution and the alumni. We are very proud of you and we know that as you reflect upon your journey within the UWI, you too have reasons to be proud. You are everywhere in the Caribbean world and beyond. Many of you have developed professional careers within the university itself, and many of you are in the management and the faculty and the support staff of the university itself. Many of you serve in other institutions of, of learning across the region, other universities and colleges and, and indeed in the school system. Many of you have distinguished yourself in the private sector and how proud we are that our new Chancellor, as from August 1st, the Honourable Dr. Dolridge Miller, distinguished alumni and corporate leader will be coming on board, an alumnus now leading the university once again as its chancellor. Many of you have established leadership roles in the governments across the region at all levels of government and we are very proud of your service to your people and right across civil society you have distinguished yourselves. Many of you are now providing services and pursuing your careers and developing your skills globally. And this is important because the UWI has always seen itself as a global university because we, the people of the Caribbean, have always been historically a global people. We are proud of all of your accomplishments. You too, I am sure, are happy to hear that your university, your alma mater, is ranked as the number one university in the Caribbean world from a field of over a hundred universities and research institutes. We are ranked in the top 1% in the Caribbean and Latin America from a field of over 2,000 institutions and, and globally we have maintained our position that we must always be in the top 5% of the best universities in the world and this is where we are. Recently we have established the global campus. We have restructured, re-engineered and repurposed and repositioned what historically was the open campus. It is now the global campus. And we have situated within this new global campus a new institution, an institution that will make the global campus truly a global campus. We have established a new school. It is called the International School for Development Justice. The International School for Development Justice. And this new school, as from September, will be offering online taught master's programs, one year online master's programs. And we will be offering master's degrees in all of the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. We are the only university now that has a school, a graduate school, dedicated to the SDGs. 
and we have achieved the endorsement of the United Nations to take this bold step into the global world. We will be seeking to enroll students from all over the world into our online global school to acquire master's programs, master's degrees in the SDGs. Critically, the Times Higher Education has just given us a 100% score for our global engagements in building out international partnerships to work with and to support the UWI in its ongoing journey to global excellence. We have just exited our 75th year and we are now looking strategically, planning for, visioning what the UWI will look like in 24 years time as we enter our centenary. So we urge you, uh, graduates, we urge you, alumni, to look back upon this journey with pride because you have good reasons to feel proud of the role you have played in the development of your alma mater. But importantly, graduates, importantly, alumni, you must look forward and as you look forward, we ask you to give back. Look forward and give back. Thank you and all the very best. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow UWI alumni and friends, it is my great pleasure to join you in celebrating Global UWI Alumni Day 2024. This special occasion, introduced by Celia Davidson Francis, Director of Alumni Relations, is a testament to the incredible impact that graduates of the University of the West Indies have on the Caribbean region and the world. Since its inception on June 26, 2021, Global UWI Alumni Day has provided a wonderful platform to recognize and appreciate the professional accomplishments of UWI graduates. Despite the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, the inaugural virtual event was met with overwhelming positivity. It served as a powerful reminder of our collective journey and the bright future that lies ahead. UWI graduates, have consistently demonstrated excellence, dedication, and a deep commitment to making a difference. Your contributions, both professionally and personally, have significantly strengthened our Caribbean region and left a lasting impact globally. Many a Caribbean leader, teacher, preacher, and businessman walked through the physical and virtual halls of our UWI. Today, we celebrate not only these achievements, but also the indomitable spirit that drives us all to excel. The feedback from previous celebrations speaks volumes about the value and significance of this event. Global UWI Alumni Day has been described as time well spent, a wonderful celebration of graduates and an excellent way to recognize and celebrate alumni. Such sentiments highlight the importance of coming together to honor the legacy and ongoing contributions of UWI alumni. As we mark this year's Global UWI Alumni Day, let us take a moment to reflect on our shared journey and the enduring bonds that connect us. Let us continue to support and uplift one another, ensuring that the University of the West Indies remains a beacon of excellence and a source of pride for all of us. Commendations to the alumni team for organizing this exceptional celebration. Your hard work and dedication are deeply appreciated. Together, we will continue to build a brighter future for our region and the world. Thank you and a happy Global UWI Alumni Day to all.
As Pro-Vice Chancellor and Principal of the UWI Global Campus and a proud alumnus too, I am indeed happy to celebrate Global UWI Alumni Day with all my fellow alumni across the globe. As UWI alumni, we embody the greatness of the institution through our hard work and dedication to excellence in our various fields. We have played and continue to play a fundamental role in building the legacy and the reputation of the university so that it is unmatched in the region and among the best in the world. We demonstrate to the people of the Caribbean and beyond what greatness they can achieve through the many positive changes politically, economically, socially, technologically, legally, and environmentally that have impacted the region and the wider world. We show that we are capable of taking ownership of our development through innovation, resilience, and commitment as we commemorate Global UE Alumni Day, I encourage you to continue to lead exemplary lives and demonstrate your Pelican pride. Happy Global UE Alumni Day. Congratulations to all UE alums. Whether you have studied at Mona, St. Augustine, Cafil, Global Campus, or five islands. It is with joy and enthusiasm that I celebrate with you on our alumni day. As true Pelicans, we have made the world a better place and I am confident we will continue to impact every organization, every nation, regionally and globally. Let us promote to all whom we meet the UWI as the first choice to further their education. Alums, let me encourage you to continue to give back of your time, talent, and treasure to preserve the excellent standard of the UWI, the premier university in the Caribbean. For as posed by Denzel Washington at the end of the road. It is not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about whom you've lifted up, whom you have made better. It is about what you have given back. Congratulations to all alums, for we are one UE family with the university always first in our hearts. We hope that you show your UE spirit and show your UEAA membership card often. Pelican perks are a tangible way that you can benefit from being part of one UE one alumni family. Through these discounts, no matter what chapter you are affiliated with, you can benefit. As a fellow alumnus of the University of the West Indies, I am proud to offer congratulations as we all celebrate Global Alumni Day. You all, as alumni of the university, represent the best of the region. You all have given of your time, your talent, and your treasure to change not only the region, but the entire world and the future of mankind for the positive and for the better. Never ever forget your roots as you grow out in the world and you act as if you may change. Remember to always give back.
because you are who you are because of the people that you bring up with you and one way that you can give back is by giving to the Global Campus Endowment Fund which seeks to raise funds to help our needy but talented students. So once again, happy Global Alumni Day. Happy UWE Alumni Day. I'm Gian Williams Knight, president of the St. Kitts Nevis UWE Alumni Association. Just taking a few moments to say Happy UWE Alumni Day to all our alumni in St. Kitts and Nevis or wherever you are in the world. This is a day where we can reflect on the memories, the gifts, the friendships, the activities, the challenges of the University of the West Indies experience, knowing of course that Having gone through it, we are much stronger and better as a result. So I trust that wherever you are, you are shining the light, shining the light from the West and being an inspiration and encouragement and achieving all your goals. And if you're not there yet, that you're on your way. So wherever you are, happy you with your alumni day, all the best. On behalf of the UWI Open Campus Alumni Office, we proudly celebrate UWI Global Alumni Day and we want to express our gratitude for you and your continued support of the Open Campus and its endowment fund. Visit open.uwi.edu to support our endowment fund. Donate please. Hello fellow alumni, greetings from the UWIAA New York chapter. I'm Sharice waller Balgavin, chapter president. Today, two of our members will share how the UWI have impacted their lives. Take a listen. My name is Hazel Carton. I am an associate professor of education and leadership at the City College of New York. I attended UWI St. Augustine, graduated in 1983 and later in 1988 and I was recently inducted into the New York Academy of Public Education, which recognized my contribution in the field of administrative and instructional leadership. The most important contribution given to me by UE was the confidence that people who look like me can make a meaningful contribution to any society, anywhere in the world. UE expected excellence from its students, and that standard has carried along with us when we graduated and continues to shape our lives. For this, I am so deeply grateful. Thank you, Yui. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, Yui alumni? Sharon Palmer here, class of 2004, Mona. As we all know, all good things comes in threes, and my fondest memory of Yui is nothing less. One, volunteerism. Yui is certainly committed to this effort, and close to my heart was reading for the blind. Two, gastronomy experience. I was excited that there was a KFC on campus and it opened at 10 a.m. and I was first in line almost every day. I truly believe they created the One Piece Combo because of me. Lastly, world-class professors. Shout out to my favorite lecturers who were not only astute in their academic prowess, but were selfless in passing on real-world expectations. Thank you, Yui. My fellow Pelicans, these soft and life skills sessions are designed just for you to give you information about all kinds of essential skills that add to your overall experience and expertise. So please do consider joining as a presenter or a participant. Look out in the coming year for more soft and life skills sessions and be a part of them. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Peter Edwards. I'm a proud graduate of the University of the West Indies Mona campus. Graduated in 1994 with a BSc in Biology and Marine Zoology. And, um, and I went back and I did a Master's in Marine Sciences. 
I'm an environmental professional working on conservation issues, environmental conservation issues, including the ocean, which is behind me. I'm currently at the um, in Antigua at the Regional Small Island Development States Conference, an international conference that happens every 10 years where small island developing states from all over the world, Pacific, Caribbean and elsewhere, are meeting to discuss matters of critical importance. High on the agenda for this meeting is the impact of climate change. And so um, I've been here at the meeting and I've been, I've been also pleased to have been running into several UWI uh, alumni, many of them from the Faculty of um, Sciences, but from other um, parts as well, lawyers and so on, all working in different aspects, gender, health, environment. But my own work centers mostly around environmental protection, using economics to, to guide decision making. Um, and then the ocean is really at the heart of it. So I'm just here sending this message as a part of the alumni celebrations to um, promote the fact that university graduates are not only in Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean, but in the rest of the world. I'm based in Washington, DC. I'm the vice president of the UWI Alumni Association there and I'm um, happy to fly the flag of University High um, and you know working towards solving the world's problems. Happy 75th UWI. Our alumni relations communications are designed to keep you in touch and engaged so please do check out our alumni hub, become involved through that medium, and also uh, make sure that you're receiving our monthly UE Nexus update. You'll also be able to see our UE Connect alumni magazine online 24-7. Hi everyone, I'm Shanique S.D. Campbell and I'm the president of the Youth Start Monocore for 2023 to 2024. And I just want to say happy Global UE Alumni Day. As the name suggests, students today, alumni tomorrow, or alumni play an integral role in our success as an organization. And of course, by extension, in the U is success. So I just want to say continue doing what you're doing, continue to excel in all facets of life. And again, happy Global UE Alumni Day. One institution with five campuses that serve in at least 16 countries across the Commonwealth region. The Caribbean's leading university that is ranked among the top universities in the entire world. The University of the West Indies is a premier choice, and I am a proud part of my alma mater. The quality of my education and the impact in carving out my career, as well as those of countless other visionaries and leaders, that fills me with a sense of pride. As alumni, let us continue to support our alma mater. Build it up. All hands on deck. One UE, one alumni. Greetings from Toronto. My name is Ferdinand Fortune. I graduated from the Mona campus in Jamaica in 1976 with a BSc degree in natural sciences. While on campus, I resided in Irving Hall. I'm here representing the Toronto chapter of the UWIAA Alumni Association to celebrate Global UWI Alumni Day. This special day was introduced by Celia Davidson Director of Alumni Relations in 2021 to celebrate, recognize, and appreciate the UWI graduates who, through their professional accomplishments, have contributed to the Caribbean region and the world in many spheres and levels and play a major role in enhancing the university's reputation. The Greater Toronto Area is home to a number of UWI alumni. 
In fact, Toronto has become a hub to us alumni, almost like a satellite campus. Our alumni have distinguished themselves in such fields as education, business, law and medicine. Just as the UWI has become the only Caribbean university ranked among the best in the world, our alumni have soared in their respective corridors of professions. Time will not permit me to mention all those alumni, and I do apologize. Therefore, I will only be able to highlight the position of a few. In 1988, under the leadership of the late Maud Fuller, the Toronto chapter of the UWIAA was formed. Only Jean Patterson, Lynette Spence, and Winston Tingling are still around with us from the original seven ad hoc committee members. We remember the contributions of Maud Fuller, Carol Scott, Dr. Robert Ogilvy, Dr. Carl Messiah, Michael Henville, and Ken Donaldson, who have all left us and made their souls rest in eternal peace. In education, we congratulate Horace Nieter and Lynette Spence, who rose to the level of vice principals in their respective teaching professions. I want to also congratulate Dr. Rhonda McEwen, a graduate of St. Augustine campus in Trinidad. She's a professor at the U of T campus in Mississauga and president and vice chancellor of Victoria College of U of T. I want to congratulate also the Honorable Justice Dr. Irvin Andre, who was appointed a judge to the Superior Court of Justice in Brampton, Ontario. In medicine, we remember Dr. Ludlow Burke, who was one of the 33 first batch of medical students in October 1948 and who graduated in 1954. Dr. Burke practiced family internal medicine for 24 years in Canada. He passed in 2019. We also remember and mourn the loss of Drs. Robert Ogilvy in 2022 and Dr. Carl Messiah in 2023. Dr. Ogilvy was the chief of surgery at the York Finch Humber Hospital in West Toronto. Dr. Messiah was chief of orthopedics at the William Osler Health Center, the largest orthopedic department in Canada. I want to send a shout out to Dr. Herbert Hoping Kong, class of 1965, who was awarded Ontario's highest honor on January the 1st, 2024. Dr. Hoping Kong is a pioneer in medical education and has written a book, The Art of Medicine, Healing and Limits of Technology. I want to also send a shout out to Dr. Pamela De Camera, wife of Dr. Carl Messiah, who held the position of Chief of Pathology at the Toronto East General Hospital in 2002. A shout out also goes out to Dr. Arnold Jarvis, class of 1969, who became Professor Emeritus, Department of Pediatrics at the U of T, who was involved in the establishment of emergency medicine and pediatrics emergency. A shout out also goes to Dr. Upton Allen, class of 1981, Professor of Pediatrics at the U of T and head of the Division of Infectious Diseases at the Hospital for Sick Children. A shout out also goes to Senator Rosemary Moody, class of 1982. She's an independent senator representing Ontario. The Honorable Rosemary Moody was appointed to the Senate of Canada by the Governor General of Canada in 2018. She is Professor of Pediatrics at the U of T. As a senator, she continues to advocate for children and promoting equal opportunity and inclusion. Lastly, I want to send a shout out to Dr. Robert Hall, class of 1979, who is Chief of Surgery at the Shouldice Hospital in Thornhill, Ontario. This is the international acclaimed hospital and global leader in non-mesh hernia repair, and it is the only licensed hospital in the world dedicated to repairing hernia. These alumni and those not mentioned have indeed 
been model examples of our beloved university and are shining in their respective fields akin to the light rising from the West. Thank you. Distinguished guests, graduates, greetings. As a 2023 distinguished alumni, I take this opportunity to thank the Yugi Alumni Association for granting me this opportunity to extend congratulations to the Yugi graduates on your achievements. Your journey through life must be found and should never be taken for granted. Every step in your journey is significant and you should use what you have learned as a foundation in which to build your future upon. It is imperative that the process be embraced, enjoyed, and not rushed. Graduates, as future leaders, you must be mindful to be an ethical leader, be passionate in your endeavors, and be inspirational. Remember, the graduation is not the end. It's the beginning. The journey now start. Once again, congratulations to you, the graduates, and thank you to the Uni and Lumbai Association for giving me this opportunity to speak to you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dr. Mortimer Moxie, Interim President of the UE Alumni Association Bahamas Chapter. I bring warm greetings from the beautiful islands of the Bahamas on this exciting day, Global UE Alumni Day. On behalf of our president, Ms. A. Missouri Sherman Peter, and the officers and members of our association and our subchapter, UE Center for Hotel and Tourism Management Alumni Association under Mr. Richard Blades. We continue our efforts to promote UE in general, recruit new students, mentor students at the UE Global Campus and UE School of Clinical Medicine and research here in Nassau, hold fundraisers and encourage donations for UE, and network with alumni here in the Bahamas. We collaborate with the UE Medical Alumni Association and our hotel and tourism subchapter, the UE Bahamas Global Campus Student Guild, student organizations at the medical school here, and the UE Stat Ambassadors regionally. Have a happy and blessed Global UE Alumni Day. Thank you. It is my pleasure as president of the UWI Alumni Association Trinidad and Tobago chapter to extend greetings to all UE graduates, friends and supporters, benefactors around the globe on UE Alumni or UE Global Alumni Day 2024. It is always remarkable that on the 26th of June each year, we can consider the tremendous efforts and contributions of UE graduates throughout the hemisphere. There can be no doubt that after 75 years of service to the people of the Caribbean, not only in terms of what has happened, but what will continue to happen, and we all feel very proud as graduates of the University of the West Indies to continue making our contribution for the development of our peoples and the wider society. Every year, therefore, and this time comes around, it gives us joy. And we at the chapter here in Trinidad and Tobago is no exception. We can all recount our beautiful days at the university. I myself was here when it was a one-year program and then back again at the semester. And each of us as graduates can talk about our experiences. One thing is sure, that our journey through the university walls have made us better, and not only better, but helping us in our own development and our professional life. It is hoped, therefore, that as we continue to give back to the university, that this giving back will impact upon our current students so that they too, when they would have completed their university journey, would be willing to give back to the university so that it continues what had been started many years ago. The Trinidad and Tobago chapter was reactivated in 1988, and we continue to work towards and give back in many, many ways. So we want to thank all the graduates out of St. Augustine 
campus and of course the other campuses for what they continue to do for our alma mater, the University of the West Indies. May God continue to bless all of us as graduates and to make a difference wherever we find ourselves. Great is the University of the West Indies and we hope and pray that we continue to give and to contribute to the development of the West Indies, the University of the West Indies and the West Indies on a whole in terms of wherever and whatever as time goes along. Congratulations to all UV alumni. Hello, I'm Courtney Campbell, President and CEO of the DM Group. I'm a proud 1984 graduate of the UWI Mona campus. I pursued a degree in management studies. I was also hall treasurer and deputy hall chairman of Chancellor Hall. I married a Sequelite. My wife Pauline lived on Mary Sequel. She also pursued the same degree. In fact, we got married three years after graduation in 1987. I pursued a long career in banking. I continue to pursue that. In fact, I spent 23 years with National Commercial Bank. I spent time in retail banking, corporate banking, investment banking. I was eventually general manager of retail banking. I spent then eight years with the Grace Kennedy Group. I was CEO of Grace Kennedy Financial Group. And for the last eight years, I've been the president and CEO of the DM Group. We have operations here in Jamaica, in the UK, North America, and the Eastern Caribbean. I celebrate today Global UE Alumni Day. We celebrate and thank all UE graduates for the work that you have been doing, impacting this world, making it a better place. In law, in medicine, in engineering, in the social sciences, in the arts, uh, in politics, you have been making a difference in people's lives. I celebrate Brian Sykes, who is our Chief Justice here in Jamaica. He was on campus with me. We celebrate in the arts. Kwame Dawes, we were on campus together. And celebrate all of my friends. Many of you were, were in the UCCF group. And let's continue to serve the next generation. I'm pleased that I have the opportunity to serve as the corporate champion for the Mona Corps of UISTAT, Students Today, Alumni Tomorrow. Happy UWI Alumni Day to all UWI alumni across the world. My name is Alfreda Jamie Peer, and I pursued a Bachelor of Arts degree in Literatures and English and Spanish at the UE St. Augustine campus in Trinidad. I further pursued a postgraduate diploma in education and a master's degree in literatures and English at the UE. I am currently pursuing my doctorate in literatures and English at the UE, where I am specifically examining the work of Barbadian novelist and Caribbean scholar George Laming. As a child, I attended the UE prep school. So UE has had a very precious place in my life for a very long time. Today, I celebrate with all my fellow Pelicans all over the world. Happy Global UE Alumni Day, all UE grads. My name is Dr. Clarence Henry, president of the UWI Alumni Association, St. Lucia chapter. As we celebrate Global UWI Alumni Day, it gives me great pleasure to thank all UA graduates for the tireless efforts towards advancing development and better futures for all citizens of our beloved Caribbean region. Our graduates are indeed leaders in a plethora of fields, be it in the arts and culture, education, economics, sciences, you name it. Your contributions, both individually and collectively, makes for a more prosperous Caribbean region. So as we celebrate Global UWI Alumni Day, let us remember the leaders that UWI has created. We thank you indeed for your invaluable contribution. Thank you.
Greetings from the UWI Alumni Association Executive from the Commonwealth of Dominica. This year, we are proud to celebrate the Global Union Alumni Day, along with all our day one campuses and country sites across the Caribbean. This special day celebrates, identifies, and appreciates UWI graduates who, on a personal and professional level contribute to the region and by extension the world in many walks of life. Most importantly, our alumni play a major role in enhancing the university's reputation by their commitment and active participation to give back to their alma mater, whether it is through their time, talent or treasure. Without you, our university would not be the premier higher education institution in the Caribbean, which continues to improve the well-being of our people. In Dominica, we pay special homage to all our graduates of short courses, diploma, undergraduate, graduate and doctoral programs who contribute to the economic, social, political and spiritual landscapes of our country. We want you to know that we are proud of you. We look forward to future collaborative ventures with you, your business, families, and community for the upliftment of our people, university, country, and region. May your pelican pride continue to beam from a light rising from the West. Hi everyone, my name is Cherise Francis and I am an alumna of the UE Cafield campus. I studied there during my Bachelor's of Law from 2012 till 2015 and since then I've gone on to become an academic and a lawyer but right now I am a senior lecturer at St Mary's University Twickenham in the UK and UE has done such great things for alumna including myself and many others that I know across the region. Overall it's just a really great place to study. We've got people who were UE stat ambassadors with me who've gone on to be lawyers in Jamaica and people who've gone on to be senior counsel, Queen's counsel in other Caribbean countries. And I just really wanted to point out how this really had an impact on my life, how we've all gone on to do really fantastic things, becoming Chevening and Commonwealth scholars as I was in 2017, 2018, and also to become entrepreneurs, forging our own paths where law didn't work out for us. The determination and the kind of drive that we developed while studying at UWE has served us so well going forward. Thank you so much and bye-bye.